Hello, and welcome to Week in Review. I'm Kirsten Kennedy, and this is Kristen Dorschner, and here are this week's top stories. There was an unexpected shakeup at the Beaver County Courthouse Thursday morning during the commissioners' meeting. Commissioners Tony Amadeo and Dan Camp voted to remove Sandy Egley as the chair of the board and then voted to move Camp into the chairman's position. Egley alleged the move was made because of misogyny. No, you're a misogynist. Yes. You can't see through your hatred. You really can't. Neither one of you can see through your hatred. Amadeo and Camp also voted to fire Ricardo Locao, who was the county's financial administrator. Officials in Aliquippa met Wednesday night for the city's first municipal meeting since the Pennsylvania State Police confiscated government computers as a result of a grand jury investigation. City Solicitor Myron Sanovich said the warrant for the computers remained sealed and he is unsure of exactly what state officials are looking into. Aliquippa Mayor Dwan Walker said the government is otherwise running as usual. Former Vice President Joe Biden visited Moon Township on Tuesday night to stump for Connor Lamb, who is the Democratic candidate in a special election in the 18th Congressional District. The race, which pits Lamb against Republican State Representative Rick Saccone, is expected to be close. A nationally watched race, Republican outside groups have spent millions of dollars on TV ads to boost the Saccone campaign. The oddity of the race is that the 18th District could disappear if the congressional redistricting map offered by the state Supreme Court, which is subject to two Republican court challenges, is upheld. The special election will be held Tuesday. Check out the Times Entertainment section this Sunday for a Q&A with Ambridge native Eric Hamilton, who worked on the crew of NBC's latest show, Rise. The new drama takes place in a fictional Pennsylvania steel town. Thanks for joining us for Week in Review. We'll see you next Friday at noon here at timesonline.com.